first, let's talk about single sideband amplitude modulation. Let's talk about what types of tools we'll need to use in order to make this happen and figure out how this would actually work in practice. So let's take, for example, our message in the baseband. After taking your baseband message and modulating it at a carrier frequency, your baseband message will have uh, components at the plus and minus FC due to the modulation. Now we can divide this into two parts. We can divide this into the lower sidebands and the upper sidebands. In order to make a more efficient modulation process, we're only going to transmit one of the sidebands, either upper or lower. Now, if we color code the original message at the baseband, we can see that the left side is red and the right side is green. And during modulation, this means that the uh, mod each one of those modulations at plus and minus FC is going to have some of the red and some of the green. And looking at these, it's quite clear to see visually now that the lower sideband, so this portion, has both a green and a red. Therefore, the lower sideband contains all of the information that was found in that original message. Uh, likewise, the upper sideband also contains a red part and a green part, which means that it also contains all of the information contained at that original baseband of your message. So transmitting either the upper sideband or the lower sideband, so just a single sideband, would contain all of the information required. And it would also reduce the amount of bandwidth you need by half, right? If we were able to completely cut out the lower sideband, then we would be able to transmit <clears throat> just this part and it would be half the bandwidth previously. Bandwidth is expensive, so if we can reduce the amount of bandwidth we're using, we're going to make a more efficient process and we're also going to save money in some place in our system. So what that looks like then is we have our message, we modulate our message, and we can see that our message contains upper and lower sidebands, and somehow we want to go from the double sidebands to this single sideband case. So in order to do this, let's think of this from a system perspective, is that somehow we're going to need to take our message, we're going to put it through our typical modulation, and then we're going to have to do something else. We're going to have to do something else to get this single sideband. Now, of course, you are probably already thinking, yeah, we can use our basic filters, right? We can just purely attenuate the magnitude, and that is possible. But there is another method that uses phase shift transformers that we can also use, and that's the, the original basis for the single sideband, the ideal single sideband modulation. To understand this something else case, we're going to go through a, a bunch of different videos and math that, that's going to bring us up to a theoretical understanding of the single sideband. So to, to get there, first we're going to have to define what the M minus and N plus are. We're going to need uh, mathematical definitions or how to separate these two things. We're then going to need to understand phase shift transformer systems because the phase shift transformer system is going to help us define what the upper sideband is at this modulated case, right? So once we've modulated it and we've used a phase shift transformer, we're going to be able to define our phase shifted M minus and M plus. And then that's going to give us an understanding of the single sideband in time domain and in frequency domain when we use the phase shift transformer system. So going forward to do this, right, we can clearly see that we could define the M minus and M plus first using our, our step function. So you could define either one of these using the step function. Uh, of course, the, for the upper sideband, our classic step function just goes like this, and that cuts off all of the lower, this, uh, M minus, and we get a definition for M plus. Likewise, you can put in the minus F, cut it like this, and we get a definition for the M minus. There's another function called the sine function or signum function that can be used to rewrite this uh, instead of using the step function. We're going to use the signum function because it turns out there's some transform pairs that are going to be helpful later on if we use the signum function. The signum function, which is written as SGN of X, pronounced as sine or signum, is defined like this, where it's minus 1 before X is equal to 0, and plus 1 above X equal to 0, and 0 at X equal to 0. 
Clearly, we could also write this using the step function, which would be taking our step function, going from 0 to 2, and then just shift that down 1, this one shift, and you will get the same definition as that signum function. So if we were to do this, we can see that our message right, is going to be modulated. And when you modulate this message, it's going to introduce these uh, plus and minus FC terms, defining the lower uh, and upper sidebands, and the M minus terms, which also have been modulated to plus and minus FC. So combined, we have the modulated plus and minus FC of our M minus and M plus terms. So we can think of uh, one, two, three, four different things that we're going to need to define based on our M minus and M plus that can get modulated uh, to these different points. So if we know our definition of M minus and M plus, it will be quite easy to figure out what the modulated forms of these are just by replacing your F with F plus or minus FC. So going from here to here, we said that we're going to need to learn some new things. And uh, that would be the same case for the upper or lower sideband. So how could we realize a filter that does this? So there's another type of, besides a filter that just attenuates this, we're going to see that there's another filter, another filtering process that we can use that relies on phase shifting. And this phase shifting process is going to be called the Hilbert transform. So we're going to try to realize a Hilbert transform filter that allows us to separate the upper and lower sidebands so that we can get a single sideband modulation system which is roughly going to follow this process. So we've already looked at a definition of M minus and M plus. This Hilbert transformer is going to give you an understanding of phase shift systems. That's then going to allow you to define M minus and M plus at the modulated frequency. And that is then going to lead to a better understanding of how you can use phase shifters to implement a single sideband system. So thank you, and I will see you in the next videos.